Did you know that some post-workout habits can slow down your progress or completely sabotage your ability to build muscle? These habits, which have almost become instinctual and ingrained in your post-workout routine, could be derailing your efforts in the gym and in turn killing your ability to reach your fitness goals. In this video, I'm going to show you 5 things that you should never do after a workout. Now, these might seem like common sense tips, but trust me, a lot of people make these mistakes, so it's important to be aware of them. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Number 1. Go straight home. We've all been there. You finish up that last set of curls and head out the door. But coming down from a workout requires a cool down period, where you're lowering your heart rate and calming your nervous system, in order to shift into the recovery phase. Cooling down after your workout allows for a gradual recovery of pre-exercise heart rate and blood pressure. Instead of heading straight home, we recommend stretching and mobilizing areas you just trained. Not only will this help improve mobility, but it'll get the blood flowing accelerating the recovery process. Number 2. Eat fast food. Have you ever been tempted to take that turn into the drive through right after training? Well, think twice, not only does fast food contain ample amounts of preservatives, salt, and additives, which can derail your efforts for a healthier life. It is also very high in unhealthy saturated fats. Fats slow down the digestion of food, which after a workout can cause a delay in the delivery of protein and glucose to your muscles for optimal glycogen resynthesis. Consume an adequate amount of carbs and protein to maximize muscle protein synthesis, but keep the high saturated fat and high sodium foods to a minimum, especially after training. Post-training is a golden opportunity to set the recovery wheels into motion, and fast food is a sure way to knock that train off its tracks. Click the subscribe button for more tips like this. Number 3. Consume alcohol. Alcohol of any kind will dehydrate muscle cells, especially muscle cells that are starving for glycogen and protein for recovery. Not only that, but studies show that alcohol increases cortisol levels while decreasing testosterone, plasma, amino acids, and rates of muscle protein synthesis. Aside from avoiding alcohol post-training, you'll want to make sure you're hydrated after a hard workout. Even slight dehydration can significantly affect our performance and recovery. Be sure to keep the fluids coming in during and after training. Sipping on your protein shake is a good way to start the process. Also, since 1 gram of carbohydrate attracts 3 grams of water, you'll need to ensure that water is coming in to help those thirsty muscle cells process carbs and any other supplements you're taking such as creatine. Number 4. Fully Resting Wrong lounging around after a tough workout will only result in increased tightness, discomfort, and lactic acid buildup. It may feel intuitive to rest and take a load off, but our bodies need movement, circulation, and activity in order to thrive and recover. Active rest is a term we're all familiar with, yet it's grossly underrated. Active recovery sessions following a workout reduces lactic acid buildup in the muscles, increases blood flow to muscle tissue, removes metabolic waste, and reduces muscle tears and pain. A reduction in fatigue will improve an individual's feeling of well-being and affect long-term motivation as well. For example, after a hard leg day, you can include some lower body mobility exercises, activity, something as simple as walking. Low intensity cycling or even yoga will do the trick. Number 5. Stay up Sleep is one of the most important aspects of recovery and is responsible for the optimal functioning of everything. From cognitive clarity to physical effort, sleep deprivation and lack of sleep quality could be what's holding you back from making bigger gains in the gym. Basically, if you can't break down glucose in your body because you don't get enough sleep, your body won't be able to properly utilize its own fuel to perform. So, if you're serious about optimizing your efforts in the gym and facilitating your recovery as much as possible, you'll need to plan your sleep schedule well. Begin by creating a nightly routine. Try to set a time at least an hour before bed where you put down your phone, tablet, or laptop. This is to ensure you limit your eyes and brain from blue light that can keep you from getting deep, rejuvenating sleep. Next, set a time you will get up every day and work backwards to establish when you need to go to bed. Keep this schedule as strict as possible. It may take a few days to adjust, but it's a small price to pay for those long-term benefits of high-quality sleep. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel, Effortlessly Fit, for more videos like this one. And turn on post notifications so you never miss another video.